Thank you, Speaker. In this House, health and health care have been uh, dominant topics of discussion, and rightly so. It was an important issue that uh, was top of uh, Ontarians' minds during the past election as well. And, uh, but what I think is that there is a part of health and health care that is missing from our conversations, and that is the social and economic conditions that influence health, the determinants of health. And we all know that these conditions are shaped by the amount of money, power, and resources that people have. Power and resources that are divided along racial lines, along gender lines, and many other social constructs. There is overwhelming research in health that shows precarity, racism, displacement, colonialism. All of these factors contribute to poor health. For too long, people's health have, has been viewed as being separate from the structural issues and problems in society. There has been an over-concentration on the bio and uh, biocycle me uh, mechanisms of health rather than on the political and economic context. context. Uh, I think that the social determinants of health approach is critical in the work that we do because social determinants of health is based on equity, and that means eliminating poverty, ending all forms of discrimination, fighting unemployment, fighting for free post-secondary education, quality child care, universal pharma care, and dental care for all. Let's, let's work towards making sure that all of these things are also part of the conversation when we talk about health and health care in this province. Thank you.